Hello everyone, my name is Adityan Rajesh, a third year undergraduate student from the Department of Metallurgy and Material Science, contesting for the position of General Secretary Sports Affairs. From a very young age, I was involved in sports and I was an active sports person. I got the benefit of observing sports from multiple angles as a player, as a captain and as a secretary. Before coming to campus, Throughout my school days, I led under-14 and under-16 district cricket team and I was part of Kerala Interzonal Cricket Team. After coming to campus, I was actively participating in multiple sports as a player, as a captain and, and I, I also got to see the other side of sports as a Institute Weightlifting Secretary, managing the Institute Weightlifting Team and also as an athlete as part of 55th Inter-IT Contingent of IIT Bombay. Okay, choosing sport is one of the best thing that happened in my life. As a kid who had body image issues and who was underconfident, sports gave me a place to belong, a place which cherished me and I cherish. The, the community that I stumbled upon and the rigor training is, are the reasons that made me confident enough to stand in front of you today contesting for the post of General Secretary Sports Affairs. I personally believe that Community and rigorous training are the two pillars of sport. Through my initiatives like Institute Bucket List, uh, Institute Bucket List, Big Bash League, uh, Tennis Ball Cricket Tournament, and Sports Mescalado, I am planning to improve the current sporting community of IIT Bombay and other programs like visiting nutritionist, a protein shack. Uh, I plan to improve the training methods as well. In conclusion, my motivation. Can I finish it? Uh, we'll start with the questions now. Uh, right now, you might be aware of a 100 meter synthetic track, uh, which is going to be constructed besides the outdoor football field. So, besides the 100 meter ground, 100 meter synthetic track, the, I have found a space in after talking to the officers from estate office, which is big enough for the construction of outdoor kabaddi and coco coat. Proposed multi-purpose ground will be constructed in the clear, cleared area of H7 near the PHO office. Have any builders or contractors been contacted for feasibility and the budget requirement for the same? Yes, I have contacted a few and they have given a positive feedback on this. Uh, I personally believe that uh, people who are not up, uh, up taking a sport will have multiple reason but I personally believe for a person from LGBT plus community their main uh, you know problem would be thinking that they would not be accepted in the sporting community so what I would like to do is uh, create a match environment which will be a recreational match that will create the awareness that people who are into sport are welcoming are welcoming them as well is it Specifically for participation from queer community only? No, it's not for participation from queer community. It's it's basically for inclusion of them. If they want to uh, participate in a sport, there should not be any anything that hinders them. What are uh, what is the incentive for them to participate in this league and not in any other competition that might? No, this is not a league. This is basically a an introduction or a friendly match. It's not a league or a competition or a tournament. It, it's it's basically a sport sports version of pride uh, run or pride walk for a cause. Uh, what is an incentive for someone from LGBTQ community to come into this exhibition match if they are not in, if they have not come into any other matches organized by sports council? So this is this is to promote that we are welcoming them. So it's not an incentive based. If they, if a particular person want to be part of the sporting community we should uh, it, it is to show that as a sports community of IIT Mumbai we are welcoming them
there is no incentive it's basically if they want if they if they are willing to participate if they want to participate there should not be anything hindering them see uh, initially when we are introducing a new gc it will go on a mock basis for 2 uh, to 3 years so what i'm planning is right now other girls 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 hostel gcs are happening in the same format by dividing h15 into 2 h15 a b and hostel 10 and hostel 11 we will be following the same format and after the one week of workshop uh, we will be dividing the teams from a hostel basis and we will conduct the gcs uh, just how the other girls gcs are conducted uh, will the points allocation be similar or will there be no points? The, in, during the first two or three years, there won't be, uh, the points will be allotted but it won't be calculated in the final tally. Uh, then what is the incentive for some girls, what is the incentive for girls to go and participate into these GCs if the points are not going to get calculated? See, if a girl want to, uh, if a girl has a uh, motivation to try out a sport, it, it clears out a path and if if we conduct it as a GC, the sports counselors will work in hand with the sports institute sports council to push for participation. Like uh, it is not always a case that if it's a mock GC, uh, the participants won't come. For uh, e even if we take in in triety, the girls squash is conducted as a uh, you know a mock uh, as a trial basis for the past two years, and still we are uh, going participating there and even winning the tournament. So. The, uh, the point incentive is never a concern in GCs. Uh, it won't be a damn sea level of responsibility and time commitment, but we are uh, eyeing for something similar to that structure who will be focusing on uh, promoting sp sport culture and motivating students to pick up a sport and you know bridging the gap between the sports council and freshmen, uh, freshers in the initial months. The mentors would be selected by the next council, next cabinet. Uh, how is managing mentors not a damn seat level? Managing and allocating the uh, mentor not a damn seat level is not Who is the one person in charge or are there, is there no one person in charge of this? Program as a whole. The, there won't be a one person in charge for the entire program. The cabinet, as an as a whole, will be uh, in charge of the program. So, insti bucket list is something which is eyeing uh, on the final next this our batch students who will be final year students next year. This this initiative the first point is majorly because. Uh, your first two years, the freshman year and the sophomore year is some is a part in which we have major exposures and exploration in campus. But unfortunately, due to COVID, we couldn't do that. So I believe that uh, many people who want to try out a sport is currently you know packed with their schedule and are not able to. So this program would may ha would promote them or motivate them to try out new sport in a structured manner. And as per as your question, the it won't be clashing with any of the other program because uh, as per the current schedule we have around 84 days in each semester for sporting activities in each sport in the spring semester there will be maximum a gc and a league and the workshop is planning to be on only on five days so it it, it won't be a issue of clashing with other uh, other workshops and the workshops will be taken by the coaches who, who are already taking the intra ad practices So Rookies is a program which is majorly focusing on the uh, PG first year students. So PG, uh, PG first year students entry is on at two times. There will be one entry in the spring semester, one entry in the uh, autumn semester. So we will be conducting Rookies twice a year so that we cater to all the fre uh, freshers who are coming in the PG community. The, there will be workshops, there will be mini tournaments and there will be uh, a proper you know, uh, selection procedure for the upcoming inter-ID teams. 
uh, for which sports in particular, or is it going? To, if it is going to be for all all sports, mm -hmm. how will the timeline of this look like, and how how many workshops per sport? If you are going to have a per no, the the workshops would be for sports uh, which are you know. Uh, which uh, have uh, which lack participation at that moment like if you are lacking a, a some players and uh, for the entire team in a particular sport we will conduct workshop in that sport and if you are if you if you have enough participation we will conduct ma matches to you know scout players scout the emerging players from the pg community uh, okay it's just for pg community is not for rookies uh, no the the rookies is for uh, pg first year students there will be one external coach coming from uh, coming from outside who will be equipping uh, who will be equipped to train this have you contacted any nutritionist or psycho or psychiatrist for uh, for taking the feasibility of these on uh, on yes. many students as clients yes i have contacted a few of the psychologists and a new two three nutritionist to check the feasibility and they are they are already implementing a similar structure and many colleges over india like bits oh, am i allowed to like bits goa and other iits so if if elected what i would uh, do as a general secretary of sports affairs is uh, focus on the community uh, and and the uh, rigor training so that uh, there is a proper team that is there to achieve the next entirety